Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up because I wanted to start and do an intro and let you guys know, hey, I hope you guys enjoy this what I eat in a day. Today I have not really planned what I'm eating and the reason I didn't do that was because in college, a lot of the times I eat the same thing, which is why I only do this once, once a month right now, but like when summer hits, if you guys wanna see this once a week, I would gladly do it because over the summer I'm gonna be getting a little creative, spice things up, you know, um, and definitely going back to my roots. But one thing I've realized is that like when you have a mini fridge in college and you're trying to like not break the bank, this week I literally spent $28 for three days worth of groceries and then I have to go back and get more so it kind of sucks but i have a meal plan so like i try to you know go from being like eating in the dining hall once a day and then eating everything else so like it kind of balances it all out but the only problem with the dining hall is the fact that when you're eating in the dining hall they add extra butter salt um just extra things that you don't need and it ends up adding up to a lot more calories than you think so for me, I always feel really gross eating in the dining hall at this point. I have one month left of school, so I'm just toughing it out. But then after that, once summer hits, I'll be in a kitchen. I'll be very thankful to have a real kitchen that I know how to use because the one downstairs, like, I just don't know how to use it. I don't want to have as many pots and pans. And, like, I know you guys are probably the same like me. Like, I'm kind of lazy. And I don't use that as an excuse because I still go to the store. I still make it work. I still fit my macros, which right now my macros are around 2,000 to 1,700 calories. Like, I have a kind of waiver between those two numbers because on one day, um, I might be extra hungry and that's when I push it to the 2000 and then another day I might be not as hungry So with that being said, yeah, it's 2075, but then other than that uh, I do 1775 so usually my calories are around that so with that being said, today the goal is 1775. I keep it really simple, but I also have like really, I have a big sweet tooth, so like this will cover your sweet tooth if you have one. Also, I use Fit Genie to track my food. So if you're interested in tracking on Fit Genie, I will have a link down below for you. Um, this application is like literally my favorite, and if you have an iPhone, you can use it. Um, I think it's way better than my fitness pal personally I used to use my fitness pal and then I switched over to this because I just feel like it's more aesthetically pleasing it's easier to use and um, attracts your food so the goal for today is 1775 calories I'm gonna try to keep my protein at 170 um, carbs around 240 and fat at 35 so if you're wondering like that's kind of like the goal but we'll see we'll see what happens other than that if you guys get premium or if you guys want two months free premium and you purchase my e-course my e-course gives you two months free of fit genie premium super amazing super awesome i'm absolutely obsessed and in love with fit genie and <clears throat> When you get the premium version, it has meal ideas. So if you guys are getting closer to summer, you guys are starting to have more time, definitely sign up for my e-course. Once you purchase my e-course though, it is currently $29 and seriously, I have so much information packed into it, but I also know that you guys are on a budget. That's why I also included two months free of Fit Genie, which the premium version, which is awesome. It gives you meal ideas. And once that's done, you could either, if you really enjoy it, you have the premium, you can, keep it going or you can just have a die and do normal tracking on Fitini. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Mwah. Good morning guys. I just wanted to start off my vlog here before I get my day started. I'm doing a what I eat in a day for today. I'm using the Fit Genie app to track which is what I always use to track my food and we're starting off the morning with some kombucha this one has 22 grams of carbs and I think zero grams of fat and zero grams of protein so the macros on it are 0, 0, 22 and 80 calories and I'm going to drink the whole thing which is why I doubled the serving because it's like half a serving per bottle so like times two you know. But yeah this is what I'm drinking it's the uh, Simple Truth Organic Kombucha in Raspberry Hibiscus and I'm just really excited because I'm starting my day off right but I'm just gonna start my day off by drinking this just to keep me refreshed and stuff I feel less bloated when I drink this because it has probiotics in it and I really do notice the difference so if you guys are feeling bloated probiotics are a must um, I have this or I have like a probiotic that I take in a capsule form but I'm taking it in kombucha okay guys so I'm gonna be eating the Mighty Muffin with probiotics. It's kind of funny because like the first thing I had pro was 
the kombucha with probiotics and now I have this. All I'm gonna do is take Dasani because your girl struggles with being in college and having stuff to like water and stuff. So I'm gonna stir it, put it in the microwave, heat it up for 35 seconds, and then I have class really soon so it's an easy snack that I can take with me and eat there. All right, so I ended up going to class and I didn't have time to input it until then. So I had the food with me, I had the barcodes, and all you do is scan the barcode and it pops up with all of the macronutrients, the calories, so it's super awesome. And then I did it for the chocolate milk that I was drinking and the Mighty Muffin. And um, it's super easy to input, so that's the macros that I had eaten so far. Okay guys, so I heated it up, obviously now I'm in class. But this is just like one of the snacks that I have before class. And I have a huge sweet tooth, so this really helps. But that's just what it looks like when it's done. It's almost like fully cooked too. Look, it like looks like a brownie on the inside. But the macros on it are super awesome too. So it has 220 calories, eight grams of fat, and 21 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So it's pretty macro friendly. And this is something that I've been eating for a long time and I never get sick of. And then this has more carbs in it, but there's like a third left. So I always get the one that's no sugar added and low fat because obviously fat has more uh, calories than carbs do. So that's pretty macro friendly as well. So I'm on to my next meal. I have the flame grilled chicken breast, which is garlic and herb. And then I have, there's three that are individually wrapped, so I'm eating one of them. The serving size is right here. It's 90 calories. Um, 19 grams of protein, zero grams of carbs or fat. Then I have this rice in it, one cup, three servings. So I'm just gonna like take a third of it, put it in here. This is already heated up, and that is what I'm gonna eat. I might get a second serving, but if I do, I'll let you guys know. And I'm gonna put it into Fit Genie. I'll show you guys. This is also super simple. It's just like before. You scan the barcode, input a serving, and you're good to go but this one's awesome. I love this meal. It's so clean and makes me feel good after. All right, I I just wanted to update you guys. I ended up eating two different things after this. I had two more servings of rice and chicken, so I had like a decent amount, but I just triple it, you know? And then I also had a Think Thin protein bar, and these are seriously amazing. This is what they look like. This is my favorite flavor. It's creamy peanut butter. You guys can see it, but I'm seriously obsessed with these. Let me see if I can tap it, get it to focus. There they go. So this is just the protein bar I also ate. It's from Think Thin. It's a high protein bar. It's seriously one of my favorites in creamy peanut butter. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup and I'm in love with it. But now I'm going downstairs, I'm gonna have more tea. So add in another Trenta ice, light ice unsweetened green tea. So other than that, I just want to mention that I did hit 1,775 calories, and then what I ended up eating for the whole day was strawberry hibiscus kombucha in the morning, then I had Mighty Muffin double chocolate with 1% chocolate milk, and that was only a third serving. Then I had Mighty Muffin, which is the protein muffin that I had for lunch earlier, the chocolate milk, then I had three servings of sticky white rice, and then flame grilled garlic and herb chicken breast. Seriously, so good, I'm obsessed with that. And then for a snack, later on in the evening, I had the creamy peanut butter high protein bar. So today was super simple, it was an easy eating day. Like I said, I like to keep it simple. <sighs> and now I'm so tired, I'm gonna head to bed. I love you guys so much, but Stay true to yourself, stay true to your goals, and eat according to your goals. Because at the end of the day, food is fuel, and if you want it to become a lifestyle, don't make it a diet. Just eat according to what your goals are, and make it work for you. So, with that being said, I love you guys so much. I will talk to you guys um, tomorrow in another video. So, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. But with that being said, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. If you guys want to purchase the e-course, the link will be down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have it right at the bottom of the screen. You can look at my Instagram name, and if you guys want to download the Fit Genie app, I will have that link down below. That's how I track. That's what I love. And um, yeah, so I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes!